Welcome to the video on one more fungus or pythium. Pythium is a very interesting fungus because it causes diseases in both plants and animals. In plants, it causes root rot and damping of diseases. We will look into the details of this fungus in this video. Welcome back and uh, welcome to a new video on one more fungus called pythium. Pythium causes a number of diseases in plants like ginger root rot, damping off in many plants. Let us look into the details of this fungus. Pythium is a genus with over 200 species found all over the world. It may be terrestrial or aquatic. The fungus is a saprophyte, sometimes it is also an animal parasite, it is also called a mycoparasite. The classification of Pythium is as follows, it comes under the kingdom Mycota, division Eumycotina, class Eumycetes, order Peronosporales, family Peronosporaceae, genus Pythium. There is a, one more classification that is according to the modern system of classification. Pythium is placed under a different kingdom altogether. Let us not worry about the modern system of classification. Let us only look into the old system of classification. Pythium species are eukaryotic, that means they have two nuclei. They are filamentous, thread like, cenocytic mycelia. Cenocytic mycelia means they are non septate threads lacking cross walls. The cell walls of many oomycetes is composed of a cellulose called glucon with minimal amount of chitin. Chitin is a major compound of the walls of many true fungi. Pythium species as I mentioned earlier have cenocytic hyphae and they are not dichotomously branched. As you can see here in this picture, I am um, marking the, uh, uh, it with arrow, it shows monopodial branching, not dichotomous branching. Pythium blight is a disease caused by the fungus and which is characterized by the cottony blight appearance whenever the infection is appearing. You can see the diagram here where you can see the details of the mycelia of Pythium, which are showing monopodial branching. Asexual reproduction in uh, Pythium occurs by chlamydospores, also sporangia. Sporangia may directly germinate and cause reproduction. Sometimes sporangia may in turn produce zoospores and these zoospores will spread the disease and spread the uh, fungus in terms of reproduction, these zoospores and chlamydospores will help. Sexual reproduction in Pythium occurs by means of antheridium, the male reproductive organ, ugonium, the female reproductive organ. Antheridium fertilizes the ugonium to produce the oospore, which is nothing but a sexual spore in case of Pythium. Zoospores are asexual. They are biflagellated, thin wall spores that move toward the host cell where they insist and later they produce the germ tube to bring about the germination of the zoospore. Aprosorium is a structure produced by the growth of the germ tube to block the entry of any other fungi that may compete during the infraction of pythium. Oospores and sporangia are considered the primary survival structures of most of the Pythium species. You can see here the Antheridium and Ugonium and also the Globus sporangium. In addition to these reproductive structures, the hyphae also shows the presence of Globus hyphal swellings which are neither Antheridia nor Ugonia. They are not sexual structures but the hyphae shows such swellings and these swellings are often mistaken for the sex organs in case of pythium. 
You can see here the formation of acrosoria. Hyphae have terminal or intercalary spherical structures, solen structures that are part of the hyphal thread, which are nothing to do with the sexual reproduction. You can see the solen structures on the hyphae of pythium here. Pythium causes a number of plant diseases. The two common diseases caused by pythium are root rot and damping off. In case of root rot, the roots of the plants are rotten and they will kill the plant because of this rotting of the roots. When an organism kills a newly emerged or emerging seedling, it is known as damping off. Damping off is a very common disease in the greenhouse plants and also crop plants where the plant is killed when the seedling is just emerging. Pythium species are probably the most common cause of seedling blight and seed rot in many plants, destroying the seeds before germination or killing the seedlings after emergence. This is called damping off disease in many plants. Damping off or root rots are caused by pythium and also are caused by one more fungus called phytophthora. You can see here the root rot disease caused by pythium and this is what is damping off plant disease caused by pythium. Pathogen here kills or weakens the seeds or seedlings before or after they germinate. This is the life cycle of uh, pythium. The life cycle uh, has both sexual and uh, asexual uh, reproductions. The sexual reproduction is preceded by the formation of zoospores and uh, asexual reproduction is brought about by the zoospores. What you are seeing in the screen is the ginger rot caused by pythium. Please like, share and subscribe. We will meet again in the next video with some other topic. Thank you very much.